Kids aren't eligible for the coronavirus vaccine just yet, but some could be weeks away from being able to get the shot. Pfizer is asking the FDA if it can administer its vaccine for children ages 12 to 15. Moderna is also in the process of testing its vaccine on kids. Like adults, kids have a lot of questions about the vaccines and the process itself. So why not bring in someone who knows a lot about science and a lot about how to help kids understand it? Bill Nye, the science guy, is here. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, it's so good to be joined. <laughs> I'm to hear that now. A lot of us grew up watching your show. It helps you as kids to understand science. Maybe some of us adults yeah. don't understand science as much as others. But tell us more about this new show, which focuses on viruses and vaccines and helping kids understand them. Why, what inspired you to do this? Well, uh, I was approached. <laughs> <with respect. laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> Tutors, which is a company that uh, is providing uh, classes online during the pandemic. And so uh, I guess there'll be classes online indefinitely. But uh, I have written and done TV shows about germs for decades. And uh, along this line, this pandemic is consistent with previous pandemics. The notorious or infamous one was in 1918, where 50 million people were killed by the flu. So uh, in that sense, this, this uh, pandemic is perfectly analogous, but it's also quite different in that the world is so different. That is to say, everybody gets on planes, flies all over the place. And this uh, virus uh, came almost certainly from uh, bats to some intermediate species to somebody, to some human, and then to us. And so we just, our immune systems weren't ready for it at all. But now we have these extraordinary vaccines based on 30 years of understanding of what I like to call evolution, understanding uh, DNA and RNA, uh, ribonucleic acid, and how you could stimulate our immune system to get ready for it. It's amazing. But the idea of fighting germs and germs being troublesome goes way, way back. Mm. Now, Bill, I think I think a lot, a lot of adults would have a ton of questions in general about what you just said. We've all woken up to different headlines than we heard the day before. It's confusing for all of us and for little kids who are dealing with that. And then also they're having to do remote learning, having to learn how to wear a face mask. I'm sure there's a lot of confusion, concerns, questions. What are some of the things that you're hearing from these kids? What are they asking you? Well, with respect, grown-ups. <laughs> uh, as respectful as I can be, kids have no trouble understanding this. Mm. <laughs> sick. I mean, you don't want to get sick. Okay, so wear a mask, wash your hands, and when you can get vaccinated, I know you're a kid if you're a kid at this point, <clears throat> do so. If you have grown-ups in your life, have them get vaccinated. And a fundamental idea, everybody, and okay, this, you know, shoot the messenger or what have you, but if you don't get vaccinated, your body becomes an incubator, a place for, the, for a germ to mutate. And this mutated for, for, form, what everybody is calling a variant, this, the variants are very, very dangerous. And so the fewer variants we create, the better off we're all gonna be. So uh, this idea that you have a choice to not get vaccinated is misplaced. Mm. One of the biggest fears for a lot of kids is needles. They're scared of the needle. What do you do to help ease their fears? Kids are scared of needles? <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so everybody of any age is fascinated with their body. Everybody talks about their health from the, you, the moment you start in on bodily processes from two years old all the way to your 122 years old. And so as far as the needle goes, it's over in a moment. You all, you've seen it. They poke you in the arm and it's done. Look away for a few seconds and it's over with. As far as needles, have you ever had a splinter? Yes, you have. What's the best thing is to get the splinter out. That is a much more aggressive, painful thing than a needle. So there's an expression, I don't know if you're familiar with it. Quit your bitching. <laughs> I have heard that one. <laughs> needle. 
fields. I'm afraid of dying. You know what else? I'm afraid of you killing me with mm. your mutant germ. So, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bill, for I was <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that one quite a few times. I wonder what that says about me. Bill, um, for anybody who wants to hear more of this type of information, where can kids and parents sign up? Well, we'll be on, we're doing a class on Varsity Tutors next Tuesday. And the word class, you know, it's going to be online like this. And we're going to talk about how vaccines work. We're going to talk, how germ, talk about how germs work and how vaccines work, how viruses are different from bacteria. And by the way, if you're a human, and a lot, of, a lot of my friends are. <laughs> no, I mean, dogs are pretty good. But if you're a human, um, what is the most dangerous animal you're going to face? And I'm not joking, you guys. This is well documented. You might, you might say lions, tigers, bears, things like that, right? It's mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are the most dangerous animal for a human because they carry these germs, so it's really a hard thing. I mean, I'll first to admit, it's a very weird thing to think that this microscopic organism or a collection of proteins can somehow kill you or, or really lower your quality of life in an extraordinary way. And so uh, it's really a hard idea. And when people talk about the scientific method, which many of us have uh, been compelled to recite in sixth, seventh, eighth grade, that rigorous scientific method, you know, where make an observation, uh, design an experiment, conduct the experiment, uh, write up your conclusions in a scientific uh, third person passive voice way. <laughs> that really dates from the germ hunters, people trying to figure out what was going on with uh, smallpox, cowpox, um, anthrax, these really, really rabies, these really, really serious germs and parasites, malaria, uh, you have to, because they're so tiny, they're literally invisible to the naked eye. Oh, he said naked. Oh, my goodness. They're, very, they're literally <laughs> invisible without a microscope. Well, um, uh, you have to address it in a really rigorous fashion. So we're going we're gonna to celebrate the human understanding of our relationship to the ecosystem. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Woo! Sounds fun. Bill Nye, the this science guy, thrilled to have you on this morning. <laughs> Good luck with the class, and thank you for helping put all this stuff into perspective. We appreciate yeah, it. the info That's and the laughs. Thank you so much. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.